Greetings, all. Frog here. Let's play some Factorial efficiently. One of the things I noticed when I zoomed out is you'll see that our line is a little right heavy. That's because we ran out. Alright, so I'd still like to get some coal going. Get all of this out if I can. And then we will just... Uh, It'd be nice to get that, but we'll just have to get that later. Put some more power down here. And we will get both of these guys. I'm out of belt? Guess I should have ordered some belt, too. Like so. I'll get that going. So that'll get us that back filled up. I'm not worried about that backing up because I just want these out of the way. I don't know what I'm going to put here yet, but I don't want them there. I want them out of the way. So we're going to run on that for a little bit. Um, I will create a splitter. Just so that way we could try and balance this out a little bit more. But they're pretty much pumping out as fast as they can. So it won't really matter. But it's still nice to have one. Just to balance it out a little bit. Alright, our science got stuck as it always does at the ending. Only one and one this time though. So that's pretty good. And then we'll have gates, which means we can start working on our rail empire. I don't know what science we want to do next. I hadn't really given it much thought. <laughs> we'll have to see. What do we want to do next, huh? Solar? I mean, it doesn't really doesn't really much matter. Insert a stack size bonus? Probably would be nice. Um, oh, yeah, we need automated rail. Right, so we're going to need automated rail next. Not a problem. So let's get that started. So we're going to need 70. Let's make sure it's actually 70. Nope, it's 140 red. That's a good thing I checked. So 100, and then when this gets down to 60, we've got enough extra added. Thank you, science. 140 red. Um, so we need 280. Oh, I don't have near enough iron on me. Uh, just give me all that. Uh, we'll need 70, so we need 140, so just just start making. Uh, we need 140 of these, so we need 280. So 1, 2, and then this should be down to 10. And chunk it in. That gives me everything I need for that. That's done. I need 35 here. So throw 10 in there, and then I need 25 more. That's done. Uh, I need all of these plus 20. Now I need 55 more. Let's just do the 20. No, no, because I need 55. So let's let's do it for real. So what I can just do is put the 35 in here, so it leaves me with 15. It'd probably be easier to put 15 back in. Do it that way. So that's done. Now the rest of these will all be for our that. Oh, and then we have to do signals following. So signals following is going to need 300 and 150. Oh, signals. Killing me. So this should now give me 65, so I'm going to need five more. So I need 10 to go in here. We'll go down to 65. That's that. That gives me everything I need for this. 70 goes into there. And I'm going to need 70 circuits. Which I actually can't produce because I'm going to run out of copper. We're hitting this copper hard. Can't keep ignoring it forever. Oh, no, it's actually the iron that's going to do me in. That's fine. Give me that. And then give me some of these. Five stacks. I feel like I'm Bentham. Okay, that'll give me the last five of those that I need. And then we just need 70 straight up. So, I'll leave myself with 30, 70 in the stack. And that. I think the next thing I'm going to hook up to that to the system is the science, because this is crazy. Um, I'm going to do... I kind of want to do a separate thing just for science just to sort of order my science, but I, I, 
I don't know. More wall parts, that's good. Give me some more wall. Queue up the 21 more wall. Certainly can't hurt. Once all those circuits are done, then we'll be ready to throw them in. How's our order going? Uh, we are getting copper into the wire. That's good. Steel chests are on the belt. They're not being picked up. That's bad. Why are we not picking up steel chests? Because you're not outputting anything. Why are we not outputting anything? We're outputting one the way we should. Perhaps I didn't hook these up. Let's hook up the output to the input. And the output to the input. That's clearly what happened. That's okay. Did I not do it here? I guess we'll find out. Those pieces aren't hitting the uh, hitting the line yet. But the chests have been done for some time, it looks like. Wow, I can pick up all five of them right together. That's pretty cool. And there's iron, or just raw copper floating around. Why is there just raw copper floating around? Because it missed? It probably missed. Yeah, that's probably it. How much are we waiting for? 425? It's a lot. But it's working. It's doing its thing. Come on, miners. There's a lot left to go, man. We may consider even... When that goes, moving this over. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll figure it out. Um, let's go check it on the stone, because we haven't done that in a little bit. So let's check that out. This is done, basically. No biters yet. But we might start getting some from the east. Depends on how far they've crept forward. Out of fuel. I brought some with me, so that's nice. 488 stone. I think at this point, this is not for wall. This is for rail. And I want to start putting rail into the system, too. Um, you know... Let's get three more tanks. Because it would be nice just to... While we're not doing anything with science right now, to get stuff done with science. And we will use the combinators to, to control our oil input, too. Uh, but... We're not there yet. What am I doing? Dropping off the stone. That's what I'm doing. Alright. That's for our rail at the moment. Automated rail transportation is not going anywhere because... This is not being made because you need the circuits. There we go. Now that should be done. Yeah, beautiful. What's happening? 424. There it is. Like, what's happening? We're one short. That's what's happening. Um, you guys aren't picking up anything either. Output one. You're not outputting anything. I must have completely forgot to set that up. All right. Well, that's fine. So inputs are on the left. So input, output. There we go. Now you're going to start fighting for them. i do the same thing up here. Oh, this one looks like they're supposed to be there, though. It's not outputting anything. So, nope, I didn't do it. Alright, let's put the outputs here. The input, output, and I'm out of wire. Wow. Output, input, there we go. So all these things are going to need that. Uh, they're going to get exactly the right amount that they need, though, so we're not we're not worried about that. How much do we need? I don't know. 50. So there should be 50 in here. There's going to be way more than 50. So we have a problem. You're outputting 100. They got combined. Oh, no. I love rewiring. Somehow, they got combined. Are you doing more? We'll find out here in about 10. Yep. 
Damn. We'll just redo this whole thing then and go manual because that's what we're going to have to do. You're correct, I hope. How many are we supposed to have of those? 750. So when that gets up to 750, we'll be okay. Here, you can... No, that's not what I meant. You can have all of those. But we have to do redo the green wire, unfortunately. Here, give me all these two. You can have all of that. That is annoying. So it appears that my shortcut was not actually a shortcut. Hmm. Well, we're going to need some more wire now. I'm not sure what it was that messed it up. Because it should have been smart enough to just take the input for the wire. Two come in. That should have been fine. One should have limited that. That should have been 50. But somehow it was getting the 100 input instead of 50. Mm, I just wired it up wrong, I think. All right, we'll try it again. Um, when we wire it up, we're going to make sure that the reset switch is active. So I'm going to wire that one first. Output to input. Output to input. All right, that's good. Paste that in. Input is one. Good. So we are outputting our signal. We are in the active state right now, which is what we want. Uh, so do one of these copy that to here um, actually that won't be good because it's not hooked up right now so in case we start these things we got to be careful uh, we need our comparator if alpha equals Bravo output alpha all right, that output then has to go into the reset switch. The main reset switch goes into the set switch. Okay. You need to see if everything is greater than zero. Then you output Bravo. The output of this needs to go to the input of this. Okay. The input of this will be the two chests. Chest one in, chest two. All right, so that's that. It's getting the proper in. That's getting the proper in right there, and then it will need the ins from our maths. Let's do the maths setup. Okay, you are going to take, we're going to try it with a shortcut. This, I mean, if it doesn't work again, then we know we can't do this. But we're going to take that, uh, multiply it by our dummy signal alpha, and output alpha. Okay, so that will tell us how many we need. We're going to go in to here, and we're going to go out from here to this container. So it should be getting, giving an output signal. It's not. Because I haven't hooked it up yet. So the output of this comes into here. So now it is outputting 50. Okay, This should start picking up 50 of these. And when it's done at 50, it should stop. Although I don't think that's how it's going to actually happen because... It won't be, that won't be ready. I think it's just going to pull copper no matter what. I mean, the whole double input would be flawed the whole way. Why are you short? Or we have an extra chest? We have 50 chests. Oh, because we don't have any circuits yet. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Because we're throwing circuits out. You're not picking up circuits. Why are you not picking up circuits? Can you just not grab them? Are they getting grabbed too fast? That's probably it. They're not coming around. Yeah, because they're getting grabbed. There they go. Okay. Um, is this going to be way over 50 again? Yeah. So this is broken. Okay. That's a problem. Hmm. How do I fix that? I don't know why it's broken in the first place. I 
I kind of suspect why it's broken in the first place, but that doesn't make it any easier to follow. And that, honestly, it would mean that everything else is broken. Hmm. There's an awful lot of copper and iron on this belt right now. We still are we still making we probably have a lot of this to make. No, we're done. You're already making circuits. Are you not hooked up? This isn't even turned on. Right, because we've got everything we've needed. So why is there so much iron... I mean, we're still going. Something has failed. You shouldn't be working anymore. Oh, no, because Alpha's on the system. How did that happen? Oh, no. That's what's causing the problem. Somehow Alpha got onto the system. Okay, so something I just did there put Alpha into the system. Oh, that's real bad. That's only disastrous. Ninety-nine little bugs in the code. Ninety-nine little bugs. Okay, well, we know what we're fixing next time. Uh, we might as well get the rail transportation going. Uh, actually, it's, we're still creating red, so we're not quite at the end condition. We're close. Um, well, we're going to have to siphon those off, so let's do that. And we'll just siphon all of that off. Iron and copper, please. Just grab it all. So that'll siphon all of those off. It's not going to be enough, but it'll it's a start. Um, have we got up to 50 yet? We've got 140 in point of fact. We're only supposed to have 50. Why did this not trigger? No, it needs 150. Oh, we have no output! Oh, because you're backwards! Oh no, because it's full! Because it can't find room on the uh, conveyor belt because of all the goddamn copper and, and iron. Alright, well that, that will solve itself. So I'm not worried about that. Um, wow, we, we just need to, we need to siphon that off faster than that can go. So anywhere else I've got power, we're just going to have to siphon it off. We're going to, we're going to create more power is what we're going to do. Um, copy this to, are we not copying this? Copy this to here and here. Just go, just clear this line. As much as we can, take those. Just clear it out. Good, so now it can actually it can actually drop its product. Okay. Now we just have to get these guys working again. Very frustrating. Because obviously this works fine. Or it doesn't work fine, because it's just it picked up way more than it needed for that. So it's gonna keep picking that up until it hits the condition on both. Well, what we could do is add another layer of complexity to it. I'm sure you could see where we would go with that. Because what we could do is create another layer of complexity and have the two different signals 
combine and have two separate off switches for this. All right, which will turn these off and not have them be tied to this reset switch, but have them be tied to another reset switch. Which would be kind of grossly complicated. The other thing that we could do is take the outputs here, because it's going to output your alpha channel on two separate things. We're doing the comparison here, which is what runs the whole switch. Um, but we could... If A is greater than zero, we could have them come out into another interpreter and call it, you know, anything. Call it dummy signal D or something. And have this, so it runs if A is less than D, right? So then when it equals, no, because then, it, when it, well, it won't empty. It won't empty until whenever, because then it'll lose the A signal, because it won't be, be outputting A, right? Because we're in that state right now. It's not going to output A. So A would be gone. It would be less than delta or whatever we're going to call it. And it would run. So if alpha is less than or greater than delta, it'll go. So when they're equal, when alpha equals delta, so when the number in the chest is high enough, then it's over. We could do that. Um, it would add, obviously, another layer of complexity to a really compact space, which we don't have the space to do, unfortunately. Um... But yeah, this one worked fine. It didn't pull up any extra circuits. I mean, this one got them all, but... There are no circuits running around. Did we get the proper number of circuits? Did I pick some up? Is that what happened? Because I ordered, what, 50 of each, right? So there should be 100 circuits here. But there's 55. Where are the other 45 circuits? I don't see him. So now I have to figure out, does that mean I pick them up? Somehow you got one of those inside of you. It's possible. It's honestly possible I picked them up and then used them. That's the only thing I can think of. And I sure hope that's what it is, because otherwise... We got issues. I got 50 smart chests, though, so, you know, that's something. <laughs> so the question becomes, do we add in that layer of complexity? My mind, body, and soul say no. But my gut says yes. We'll think about that in the off time. In the meantime, that's all I have for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.